Hello everybody and welcome to another day of messy art at home with me, your friend Miss Christina at the Victor Farmington Library. So you may already have gotten one of these, but if not, I think it's a good idea to come in this week and get one before they're all gone. We have kits for messy art. These are in the children's area. You can come and grab one. They come with a whole bunch of different things that you'll need for the upcoming January, February, and March messy art videos. It doesn't come with everything. It just comes with some random stuff that you may or may not have at home. It has like some paper, some paint, some paint brushes, um, a couple balloons, a canvas, which we're going to use today. So here, um, you could do this with a canvas if you have one. You can come in and get the canvas this week. Um, or you could just use some really nice cardstock, some nice thick cardstock or cardboard. So we're going to, that comes, that comes with a big piece of paper that you can use for any of the projects you want. It comes with some bubble wrap. We're going to do some bubble wrap printing in a couple weeks. Different colors of tissue paper. Let's see. I come with a couple different paint brushes. Should have two balloons in there and two different paint colors. This one has yellow and blue. So you can come and get one of those and then we can get started with this week's. So for this week, we are doing tape resist painting. So we will use a canvas or some thick paper like cardstock or even cardboard would be good because then you can, if you have a bunch of cardboard, you can just do it a whole bunch of times. And then we'll use a couple of paint brushes. I covered my work area with some paper to protect it from getting too messy. I'm going to use a pencil. This is, you can choose if you want to do this or not. This is just kind of for planning out how I'm going to draw, I mean paint and some tape. You can use masking tape. You can use painter's tape would probably be the best. You could even use, probably use scotch tape. That's kind of probably a little bit sticky on regular paper, but I have, I already have masking tape, so that's what I'm going to use. All right, so tape resist painting is when you have a blank canvas and you put some tape on there in different, whatever directions or designs you want, you cover it with some tape, and then you paint over top of the whole thing. Then when it's all dry, you pull off the paint and then, un or you pull off the tape and then underneath where the tape was, there will be no paint. So it'll make an awesome design. So I'm gonna do this along with you today. And I'm probably not, I'm not gonna wait for mine to dry because I'm gonna do it all at once. But you should let yours dry before you take the paint off or the tape off. So I have my canvas here and my tape. So let's see, with my pencil, I think I'm just gonna plan where I want to put my tape. So just very lightly with the pencil, I think I'll go a diagonal piece right here. Maybe I'll do two diagonal pieces, just like that. You probably don't think you can see them. Two diagonal pieces there, let's see. And then maybe two pieces straight up and down here. And then, what do I want to do over here? Let's do one diagonal there and one diagonal there. So that's my plan where each line is, I'm going to put a piece of tape. So if you're doing going along with me, now's a good time, maybe pause and make your plan. You could write, you could write letters or numbers if you wanted to, or 
any, really any shape you want. I'm just doing lines because I want to see how it turns out. So I have made one piece of tape and I'm just sticking it on top, oops, on top of the line I drew. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to do that for each and every line that I drew. I have done this before and it looked really cool. I actually have it, um, it's, I did all different colors of green when I did it and I have it um, hanging up behind my desk at the library. So when you come to the library, you can see it. It's between my two windows. All right, so I'm just tucking the extra end pieces around the back just because it's sticking to my paper that I have on the table. That might make it a little harder to take off at the end, but it's worth it because I don't want it to stick to the table too much. Okay, I'm almost done. I just have one, two more tape lines to do. tape is is where it will be no paint underneath the tape though is pencil so I only wrote it very lightly and then after all the paint I take it, the tape off and all the paint dries I will use the eraser on my pencil to erase those lines so you can choose whether or not you want to use the pencil or not to do um, a plan because maybe you don't feel like erasing um, but that's what I'm going to do so now I have my my little paper or my canvas and then I'm going to get my paint out so if you got one of these kits you will have two different colors of paint if you don't have one of these kits and you're just using things that you have at your house great you probably have a whole bunch of paint or even if you only have a couple of paints that's cool too so I'm just opening the top of my paints. I have blue and yellow today, and this blue is actually a little bit sparkly. So I have two paint brushes that came in my kit. So I'm gonna use one paint brush for each color. And then, let's see. So I will start with, let's see, what color do I wanna start with? I'll start with yellow. I'm gonna use this paint brush my yellow. I'm just gonna, Dip it in there, and then I'm gonna start painting on one of these corners. You can see this whole corner I'm gonna do yellow. So let's see. I'll start working on that while you are working on yours at home. And now this paint that I gave you in your kit is washable tempera paint. So that's good because it's washable. But one little not so good thing is that it's not super bright all the time. Sometimes it's thin, like this one's pretty thin. So I might have to do two coats of that yellow to make it really stand out. So now I'm gonna move on to blue and I'm gonna do blue for this big open space in the middle. I'm gonna do all of that blue. Get a whole bunch of paint on my paintbrush and I'm just gonna paint and one great thing about this tape resist it'll make a nice clean line but you don't have to paint it super um, neatly because you could paint right on top of the tape and the tape will still make it into a nice straight line so first I'm gonna paint all around the edges that's how I like I like to color and paint paint or markers or crayons. I like to do the edges first because that's the only time you need to be a little bit careful and then you can just do it go in the middle and you don't have to be very careful anymore. So I'm just going to get 
So paint all over the middle. And make sure I got all the white spots that are now blue. Now this is a really big spot. You might, when you do your paint, you might not leave such a big spot. And that's okay. Okay, so here's what I have so far. Let's have one, two, three, four, five more spots I can do. So let's see, I'll do yeah, another yellow spot. Let's do a yellow right here. I'll do yellow there. So first I'll do the edges. and easy and now I'll do a blue and I'll do a blue in this corner here it's a nice small little corner all right let's see I think Next, I will do some yellow up in this corner. I'll go around the edges first and then color in the middle. And then I will do I'll keep the yellow and I'll do that again right here down in this bottom corner the fun thing about messy art process art is there are no rules you can just do whatever you feel like doing and see how it turns out and then one more color I will do blue and this last spot I have It's about to look even cooler. Now, like I said, you can let yours dry if you want, but just since I'm making a video of this, I'm gonna take mine off right now. I'm just gonna be very careful with the wet paint. So I have my first piece of tape. I'm gonna lift that off. Oops. This is a good thing to do with the help of a grown up. Not very easy to do all by yourself. So look at that nice white line, that white space. And it's got the pencil in it, which I'm gonna erase later. So this tape is stuck to this other piece of tape. So I'm gonna unstick that. And then peel that off, oops. Get that. Those nice, neat lines. Let's see. Next, I will do this piece up in the corner. Painter's tape would be a lot easier to take off. It's not as super duper sticky. But we work with, with what we have. We don't have to go out and buy all kinds of fancy stuff. So that's what it looks like with that one off. Okay, I'll just take the rest of them off. And then I will show you the finished product. Those are all coming off together. Ooh, baby. Here's what it looks like. Isn't that so cool? 
And now if you look closely, you can see the lines in there from the pencil. I'm just gonna erase those with my pencil eraser after it dries because I don't want all the little bits of the eraser to get stuck in the wet paint. But look at that. Maybe it goes this way. Maybe it goes that way on the wall. Maybe it goes that way on the wall. Maybe it goes that way on the wall. Who knows, it's however you want. Maybe it goes diagonally. That's kind of cool. Diagonally, diagonally, diagonally. All right, so I hope you have fun with this project. If you make one of these, I would love you to share a picture of it with me. You can email it to me at my email address, which is on the library's website. You can even post it on our Facebook page and tag the library. And, yep, so there's my beautiful piece of art. And the great thing is everybody's piece of art is going to look a little bit different. Everybody's will be special because we're all just doing whatever process feels right to us. Or, you know, I have some paint all over myself. And I have to get to work at the library, so I have to go wash my hands and my arms. And then probably a little bit of this table too, because I wasn't super neat. So I hope everybody has a great day today. Remember, you can come in and get one of these messy art kits this week. Today is, oh boy. The week of, Jan yesterday was January 20th. So today is the 21st. So as of the 21st of January, we still have a whole bunch of these left. So come on in any day that we're open. We're open seven days a week now. And then you can grab one while supplies last. All right, have a great day, everybody. Goodbye.